up, John? I brought some pies. Today, John came in from Lombardi's Pizzeria. I need a great cake. You come up with the idea. So we made a pizza cake before for the pizzeria that my father-in-law used to own. For this one, I'm thinking of doing a slice. A huge slice of pizza. Maybe we do something like the size of this table here, like a big slice of pizza. I'm leaving it in your hands to make the cake special. Any particular pizza or style? What about roasted pepper, red peppers on top? A lot of people love the roasted pepper on the pizza. I'm eating it right now. It tastes so good. Listen, I know that when we recreate food as a cake, it usually comes out awesome. All right, we got it, Ralph. Yep. And I can make this slice of pizza friggin' huge. OK. I mean, I'm talking about a 12-foot slice of pizza. This is a nice slice of pizza. Holy cannoli. What is this? It's the pizza. All right, let's fill it up. For the filling, I figured do vanilla and chocolate cake with chocolate mousse, fresh strawberries, chocolate ganache. It's going to be delicious. What are you doing? Why are you making all these holes in it? It's not holes. It's texturing for airbrush, so that when I go with the airbrush, all these little crevices are going to get picked up. I'm going to airbrush the crust because I can layer the depth of different colors. Give me an airbrush with the colors. Pizza crust, you see a little, like, brown, a little black, a little white in there. You see kind of, like, all these colors through. And I know that I can really layer it on with the airbrush. So I got Jessica making some red buttercream for the sauce. I'm going to use some modeling chocolate, which we're going to kind of melt down so it looks like the cheese. OK, well, over the top. That's it. I, I've played around a little bit with a blowtorch and melting fondant and modeling chocolate. Come on, that cheese looks nice and melty, huh? We hit that cheese, and it looked like mozzarella out of a 900-degree coal oven. It was awesome. Torching a fondant gives it a taste similar to like a roasted marshmallow. Even burning the fondant on the crust, I mean, it was bubbling. That really made the cake look real. She tortures up nice, huh? And I told Ralphie boy to make some mushrooms. Some roasted peppers for on top, you know, so that it really looks awesome. Whoa. Easy, boy. Whenever we make food cakes, it's some of my favorite stuff. Me too. It's awesome. Pizza is like my favorite food on the planet. And this was a big slice of pizza that I just wanted to dive into. And I got to tell you, we've done some cool food cakes. But I think this ranks up there as the best. This is definitely my favorite. Now that's a pizza cake. OK, ready? Mm. One, two, three, push. One, two, three, push. <laughs> we show up at Lombardi's, and I'm excited to show John this cake. When I made this thing, I knew it was too big to go through the door, but I got a plan. It's going through the window, baby. Rob, stay yeah. over there so the table don't slide out. You got it, Chief. OK, wait, wait, wait. we got enough on the table. All right, now let's turn it. Let's get off. Now, oh, we're going to go this way, Bo, because we're going to go point in. That thing was heavy. I mean, I'm talking about a 12-foot slice of pizza. Let's Point in it. First, OK. OK, wait a second. Way up. Way up. Way up. OK, keep, keep passing. Like, keep walking keep with it. Wait, 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 now, you guys wait, wait, don't wait, wait, let go. Wait, 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 hold on. Wait, 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 wait. I'm too We're good. We're good. So no we get rush. to the other side. <laughs> we got it. All right, let it down. Let it down. Come down. Down. I got to say. I couldn't believe how we had to get it through the window and get it in. But when we did, John and everybody's reaction was priceless. I asked for the best. I got the best. Beautiful. I'm more than happy. Thanks. Thank you.